go. Hello my lovely subscribers and welcome to the wonderful September box. Have we got a treat in store for you? I'm thinking it's red hot today, it's boiling out, it's September and I'm thinking nice and pink and beautiful and pretty. So what have we got? First of all, let's get down to the business. A nice cup of chair and a biscuit on hand as always. So we have Falapsi, beautiful, lovely little, delicate little gorgeous foliage. We have a beautiful dahlia, a lovely pink pretty dahlia. I think September's always reminds me of the old Irish festival where we used to get my dad's dahlias that he'd grown right from the allotment. So that's got a special sort of memory for me. We always used to grow gladiolis as well. So we've got these beauties. Look at the side of it, size of them. That, I'm just going to show you what how gorgeous it's going to be. It's going to be as beautiful and pretty as this. But obviously that's done now because it's fully open. We'll get shut of that. So we have some steel brass. We're going to make a bit of a trickiness. Of course we are, we're creating magic. So get your box out of the way. And let's start. Let's get cracking. So, first of all, put your flower food in. You've got gorgeous, lovely bottle bars. And just use one of your flower foods. Get shut of that. I'm going to show you how to strip gladiolis. Uh, when we have the shop and we have gladiolis, we store them out of water. We never store gladiolis in water. Uh, so these will travel, I know that these are going to be a winner in your box because they'll travel really, really well because that's how they're stored. So we just take all the bottom scruffy bit off, yeah? Just clean, and I call it cleaning them up. So we don't want none of this on. I know you might think, oh, it looks really nice with these leaves on, but it just creates more bacteria and... We want nice clean vases. So let's get rid of all this, clean it all up. You can be rough with these. These are like really sturdy. Sturdy and strong. Excellent quality as always. Don't forget to tag me uh, Magic Creations. I love to see them. So let's get this out of the way. Right, so depending on your bars, you probably need to take a really good load of these off because uh, these are 120 centimetres, not like from the supermarket where they'll be like 60 centimetres. These are class. In fact, I've cut a load off to get them in your box anyway. So we're just going to trim them down nicely at a slant. We know why we cut it as, as a slant, don't we? Because we're if it was flat, the, the flowers wouldn't drink. I'd just like to give you all my little tips, my little uh, experience toppity tips. So we've done that, we're just going to pop them in. You can make sure they're all like one level, like there's going to be. Another little tip as well, uh, florists will also take the top tips out. If you see it's not opening right at the top, we might just nip those off. I'm just going to do another little thing because I still think they are going to be massive. So bob them in and just pop them around your bars. Next job, steel grass. Pop, give that a tiny little trim and then we're just going to create, as always, a little bit of magic. So I'm going to, oh God, be careful it doesn't poke you in the eye and it'll take your eye out. I'm going to put you some of this uh, wire in, so I just get a couple of strands, do a nice little fancy little curl and look how Steve is coming in close now so you can see and just pop it not on where the flower is because we don't want to hurt the flower but we're just going to wrap that round like so, like so. 
then I might do a bigger loop, quite a big loop now. Just, just wrestle with it. It's got a mind of its own, this grass. And then, so I'll do a bit of a big loop here. I might take this down at the bottom and wrap that round. It's just like a bit of trickiness for your vase. We don't want to look as if we just plonked them in, do we? We can get that from any old supermarket. And then do that all the way around. So that's what you're paying for. Nice little workshop. Another little thing in between. Wrap that there. Oh, love it. Love it. Love, love, love it. We're in love with the flowers today. We're feeling the sun. And we're just going to come pop round here. Get this in. Awesome. Nearly done. We'll have a bit higher one now. We'll go a bit higher. Oh, it's a bit tricky. Look, I've caught that flower, so I'm just going to have to just pop it there. You see, even I catch the flower. Right, so we've got one left. Oh, we've got two left. We'll do a fancy little manoeuvre. And just have that in the middle. Eh? We'll have a little loose one. We'll make it up as we go along, I told you. It's like, get the flowers, the freshest in September. And let's see what happens. Right, now with your dahlias, I just want you to trim all these leaves off as always. Leaves mean, if you just think leaves mean bacteria. And we'll just take that off there. Pop these in all around. Trim that off. I love dahlias. So pretty. Such a pretty little thing. So you can see how this is going to look gorgeous when your gladiol eyes open. Last one. side if it's not quite happening now in between these now we're just going to put a slapser so we can just move this about don't be frightened if you think oh my god that's not in the right place it don't look right just move it it's not a problem just shift the bugger just take these little bits off here we like to have these nice and clean too so we're just going to put one slapser there this is a big one this one this is a beauty and we're going to put one here, squash it in, and here. Oh, what a pretty little vase. And it's just going to keep on giving. It's the vase that's going to just keep on giving. Because it's just going to open and bloom. And... There you go. Voila! The September box. If you like what you've seen, please like and share and follow my little page. Thank you. Have a great day.